Hi, my um, presentation is over cardiovascular and perceptual responses to blood flow restricted resistance exercise with differing restrictive cuffs by Rosso. And I'm going to switch the camera around so you can see my presentation. Alright, so first, what is blood flow restriction? It is a technique that when combined with low intensity resistance exercise, it increases strength and hypertrophy. Um, during blood flow restricted exercise, a restrictive cuff surrounds the proximal end of the exercise limb. The, this cuff is intended to restrict venous return while allowing arterial flow to the working muscle. Um, these cuffs typically range in width from 3 centimeters to 20.5 centimeters and wider cuffs tend to restrict the vasculature more than the narrow cuffs at a, any given pressure. So some background. Um, only one study has examined central arterial responses following acute blood, fo blood flow restricted resistance exercise. And this study augmented index, a measure of reflected wave magnitude related to arterial stiffness and brachial blood pressure responses to low intensity blood flow restricted exercises were found to be similar post exercise. This was used intermittent, intermittent and not continuous blood flow restriction. The purpose of this study, the one we're talking about now, um, done by Rosso, is to determine cardiovascular responses during and following an acute bout of flow, blood flow restricted resistance exercise. Um, and this is determine, determine the influence of blood flow restricted cuff type on cardiovascular and perceived effort and pain response to an acute bout of blood flow restricted exercise. So the subjects that were involved, it was about 30 young men and women who volunteered. They were screened with a health history questionnaire. Um, exclusion criteria included known cardiovascular, pulmonary, or metabolic disease, orthopedic problems, or self-reported as a smoker. I think if the study was done now and um, the exclusion criteria would include if they faked or not. Um, but the final sample included 27 participants. Um, two participants um, had cardiovascular measures that were not able to be obtained and one person ended up dropping out. So the protocol. In session one, they did one rep max and they also took the height and body mass. In session two and three was a crossover fashion and they were randomly assigned to the five centimeter cuff or 13.5 centimeter cuff. Um, and then they would switch. If so, if they had the five centimeter cuff in session two, then they would do the other one in session three and vice versa. Um, the cuff was worn around the proximal thigh region while, while performing knee, the knee extension exercise. Participants performed the same exercise protocol during visits two and three. Only the type of cuff varied. Um, the exercise session was four sets of knee extensions at 20%, one rep max, and was performed as follows. 30 reps, 30 second rest, 15 reps, 60 second rest, 15 reps, 30 second rest, and 15 reps. The longer rest interval was necessary between sets two and three to obtain measurements. Um, so measurements were taken at, um, after five minutes of rest on knee extension machine with no cuff, no cuff supplied, immediately after cuff inflation to target pressure while sitting on knee extension machine, following the second set, immediately following the fourth set while the cuffs were still inflated, um, five minutes after exercise and 15 minutes after exercise. Measurements included brachial blood pressure, pulse wave analysis, RPE, and pain ratings. Okay, so the results. Cardiovascular responses were generally, generally exacerbated by the wide cuffs compared to the narrow cuffs. Heart rate, aortic blood pressure, and brachial systolic blood pressure increased during exercise and returned close to normal following exercise with both cuffs. Aortic and brachial diastolic, diastolic uh, blood pressure had a greater increase with the wider cuff than the narrow cuff. 
all blood pressure and heart rate had a greater increase with the wider cuff than the narrow cuff. The increase in heart rate and systolic blood pressure is because of an activated sympathetic nervous system. Usually, diastolic blood pressure decreases because of vasodilation of the arteries. Since it is actually increasing, this means there is actually vasoconstriction in the arteries. There is a greater increase of heart rate and blood pressure with the wider cuffs because they restrict vasculature more than the narrow cuffs at any given pressure. Um, so the discussion. So compared to the narrow cuffs, the wide cuffs were greatly elevated. All measure cardiovascular and perceptual responses during exercise and immediately post-exercise. The wide cuffs were such a greater stimulus than the narrow cuffs that with less work being performed, they cause greater pain, exertion, and cardiovascular responses. This is the first study to determine cardiovascular responses during and following an acute bout of blood flow restricted resistance exercise and to directly test the influence of different blood flow restricted cuff types on cardiovascular and perceived effort and pain response to an acute bout of blood flow restricted resistance exercise. So in conclusion, we observed increases in central and brachial blood pressure and heart rate during blood flow restricted resistance training and cuff type affects both the cardiovascular and perceptual responses to blood flow restricted resistance training. Thank you.